Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Bashim Rakakwadash. My name is Yakaba from Playing Tables Camp in Philly. And it says, as Elder Apostle Tars, video seven women shall take hold of one man will take place on this side. Let's play a little bit of his words. Put up a while because he's no longer in the world of the living. Anyway, uh, I watched up until almost a five minute mark of a 23 and change minute video. And basically he's talking to this woman, she's 39, she's 33. And he asked pretty much the same question. They both, you know, were there, different places, of course. And she kind of admits, and she's kind of, you know, trying to figure this shit out. But she kind of admits that, uh, and not too many words that a that a man can have more than one woman because they're starting to see that this woman right here she's she's 39 she's let me do this get a better picture of them hey the first thing you look at on the woman is the face you, you look at the you look at the face the ass the shape the body you know the the breasts the breasts is maybe the way she walks the way she dresses so she's 39 and she's 33 and i believe she said she's single if i'm not mistaken got to go back to it but uh she said he asked her if she's single and she said yes like a lot of times she was hesitant about saying things and uh, she said that she uh Sam, uh, Kevin Samuel asked if she has any ch children, and he's and she said yes, and and um, uh, she said one. I have one child, and um, come to find out that she since she had that child, oh, she was recently divorced, but since she had that child, I don't remember if they said a boy or a girl. She, it, she said since she had that child she's been single since she had the child and the child is five years old so we're calling let's count backwards that she had the child when she was 28 and whatever the case may be whether the man got locked up whether he got tired of the bullshit now the other apostle said uh will take place on this side because there's I guess another doctrine out there that says that uh, that Isaiah four and one is referring to the kingdom, which is not it's absolutely not true. Because when you go to the uh, the fourth, the second verse, it tells you them that are escaped of Israel. All right, so this, so this uh, prophecy is going to take place on the Israelites that are, go are going to be saved from the, from the, the hellfire, nuclear destruction. All right, it says uh, the remnant prepared. All right, even Esau tell you it's the, the remnant. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. All right. So they so the Israelite woman is going to be begging you for protection. All right. I, I've seen the vision. They're going to be begging you all the tribes. I mean, from Judah to uh gad to issachar they're going to be begging you for your protection all right because they're going to be examples made out of you know certain women all right that are going to fall by the wayside and it's going to get really bad it's going to become very dangerous for the weaker vessel to travel to be by herself all right and it's going to be a extreme urgency for the Israelite woman to learn the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the father, Yahweh Shai is the son. All right. Because, like, that, when you watch more of the video, the, the elder apostle says that the woman's purpose is to bear children. All right. He goes into that. All right. And that, that her purpose is not to work, you know, 10 hours a day, eight hours a day. You know, play play little texting games on date naps. That's not what she's me meant to do. She's meant to 
get with a, a husband and have children and take care of the household, her, take care of her respective duties in that household, not to be outgoing, an extrovert with and things that are uh, of the world. You know, if you know, if she's in the faith anyway, you know, but that's what a woman's purpose is, is to, to bear children uh, and to guide the house, like the scriptures say, not to be a career woman. All right. So in that day was what, what day, the time of Jacob's trouble, women are going to be running. You Israelite men are going to be running you down to get protection. All right, if they're of the elect, they'll get with the right man. If they're not of the elect, they're gonna get with a with a, um, a regular dude. All right, that's just faking it. All right, only the elect are gonna get with the elect. All right, for salvation. If you end up with a, a dude that's not of the elect, all right, and you are of the elect, then eventually that relationship's gonna be severed. All right, but in the time of Jacob's trouble, these single women. Are going to be running you the israelite man is going to be like how you know how uh look at old michael jackson uh videos from the 90s or whatever you'll see these women uh cr crying screaming you having seizures and shit over uh, michael jackson that's how what how urgent it's going to be during that time Now they they uh you know with him because they like his his no way he dancing and singing and all that. Well, women gonna run into us for life matter of life and death. You know, some for honor and respect also because we don't have honor and respect right now amongst the women. Uh, but the Lord gonna he gonna give us that honor. It's, he said he's gonna give us uh, make us like uh, fine gold, like the golden wedge of Ophir. All right. Now it don't look like it, but he's a so-called black man. I don't know what, what tribe he's from, but maybe Judah, maybe uh, Gad, or whatever. Or, but he's an Israelite, right? No matter what tribe he's from. Right? Now I used to see videos, you know, of them going crazy, falling out, and you, know, you, yeah, you probably find it here. But you, I think you get the point. Let's see. Let's go to this one. All right, see how, how he, he's a superstar. All right. And under this, his all the cosmetic surgery that he done, he he's actually dark brown skin. <laughs> all right, but he you know he transformed himself because he got you know, mental health issues. So, but don't pay too much so much attention with outward appearance. Just pay attention to you know why they they love him. They love him because of his talents. Uh, he can sing, he can dance. Uh, they like his spirit. All right. When the when, when women, Yahweh Shai are run after us, the hopeful elect, they're gonna be doing it out of necessity. Some maybe they're doing it because of you no know, honor. They you know just they believe it's the right time to to fully step into their duties or whatever. But you know, mainly it's gonna be for because of for protection, for food. All right. You're gonna have the Israelite woman. Probably, probably all the nations who are running running for protection for whoever they believe is um, can provide that protection. And the Lord is gonna make it so the elect women get with the elect men. Alright, so you get that point. Alright, so this is gonna happen to take away our reproach because if a woman does not bear uh, children, she's not married, she has not fulfilled her duties. Because yeah, the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. All right. And the woman's the weaker vessel. All right. The woman's under the orders of the man. All right. It says Isaiah 4 and 2. In that day shall the branch of Yahweh be beautiful and glorious and fruitful. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. All right. Now, who are the ones that are going to escape? The elect. The elect are the only ones that are going to escape. 
All right. It says, and it shall come to pass that he that, that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy even everyone that, that every one of them that is written among the living in Jerusalem Those are, these are the elect all right when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst of the house of the filth of the daughters of Zion will be purged How, what's the beginning of it for them coming into the faith and then getting with an Israelite man all right and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread because isaiah uh, well he was given the, he was given his prophecy because it's written in the law that the israel was going to be broken up the woman was going to be against the man the man was going to be against the woman so how is the lord bringing back our nation back together he's going to force the israelite woman to come to the israelite man even because she don't have respect mainly you know judah ben and levi for their counterpart but the lord is going to make it so for the, for the ones that do survive I, like i said you know it has been said you can't really see a bunch of you know, judah women being you know delivered but you know by uh prophecy it has to happen all right because the, the state that they're in they're the most destroyed women all right the men too of all, of all the tribes you know judah ben and levi all right the pH balance gonna be right. Well, it says right here. The pH, you know what I'm talking about when I say pH balance. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. All right. Yeah, a lot of them don't know how to, you know, take care of their pH balance. It's a it's shove soap up there. You're not supposed to do. It's a certain way you're supposed to do. It. I shouldn't have to tell you to a woman that. All right. And shall have purged the blood of of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning uh, so how is that a nuclear fire how is he going to purge and uh, clean israel up by getting rid of two-thirds of israel here in babylon and a bunch overseas too all right but you got two-thirds that are going to fall on this side all right so israel coming back together the men coming back with the women is prophesied in Isaiah the fourth chapter all right this is going to happen before we're saved Yahweh Shai Ratazah all right the the the, the purging is going to begin with Israel the Israelite woman coming back to the Israelite man them coming into the truth all right and then it's going to reach its perfection when we're in those ships all right where our bodies are completely changed and we're given a heart of flesh and a stony heart's taken away. All right. So how is a woman cleansed? To take away our reproach. To take by the name to take away our reproach. What? The woman's a shame. Because right now the Israelite woman is, sh uh, sh is shameful. She's in a shameful state because she's independent, career driven and too proud to submit her mind and body to the Israelite man. She's too proud. Even the ones that are in the truth. They're too proud. And what's the Lord going to do? For all, for all you that's, uh, that's too proud to submit completely, the Lord going to, he going to put some fire to you. And that, and that fire is going to hurt. All right. This is why it's, 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 you would have an advantage if you get ahead of that fire. All right. But you're going to have to share. All right. And in that day, seven women, seven from Judah to Gad to Issachar, you're going to be sharing husbands. All right. All your husbands are going to have multiple women. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. H2781. Uh, I don't have it up. <laughs> we got Karapa. Karapa. Which means, sh it means shame. Disappointment, disapproval. Alright. Because the, Isra the Israelite woman is in a shameful state right now. Referring to Judah, Benjamin, Levi. 
a lot of them are bald. A lot of them have mental health issues where they, they're trying to emulate the, the so-called the Caucasian woman, the Edomite woman by wearing uh, weaves and wigs and blonde hair because they're jealous of the, uh, of the, of the so-called white woman. All right. But lightening their light, lightening their skin. All right. By being obedient to the, 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 the devil at work, but not being obedient to you. And I'm talking about you so-called black men. She, they, they, they're disrespectful toward you, but they'll respect the boss. All right. The most disrespect starts with Judah and then it thins out as you go down the line. You get a little bit more respect with the other tribe women. All right. They, they're all d demonic. All right. But the, the, the number one, the, the disrespect, disrespectful uh, tribe person, woman is, you know, Judah. That's a fact. All right. But in that day, all that disrespect is going to go out the window to the ones that are the, are the uh, elect anyway. They're going to have the sense to uh, get what it, it, it is with like, man. All right. And the scripture tell you about the wise woman, Proverbs 31, I believe. You don't really have a lot of those. Let's go to that real quick. All right. Proverbs 31. Woman, I think it's 31. Yeah, the words of uh, King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him, is it's, uh, not Samuel, uh, Solomon. Uh, my son, what my son, the son of my womb, the son of my vows, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroys kings. So the, the the wise woman understands how wicked women are, and they'll tell their sons and other men, they'll know, they'll confess, like, yeah, these women are wicked as hell. Don't trust them. Trust them about as far as you can spit. All right, let's go down here. Um, description of a worthy woman. Wow, there you go. All right, so how many of our women fit this description? All right, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? This how this 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 is the uh, the test. How do you know a women really in the truth? Proverbs 31, start from, well, you can read the, the verse I read up, up top. 31 and 10, that's a good place to start. 31 and 11, the heart of, the, of her husband does safely trust in her. How many men trust their women? So that he shall have no need of spoil. Yeah, you don't got to go out and sell drugs and do dumb shit. All right, because the, the wicked woman, she'll... If you got a good credit score, you got your shit together, she don't like you. But if you are a fixer upper, she'll she'll be more inclined. You like you kind of dangerous. All right. You got to you know you, you, at, at a moment you can snap and like beat the shit out of her. She'll like you. Or if you're extremely rich, she'll like you. But if you, you know, normal in the middle, got your shit together, even if you in shape, you'll have a harder time being in in her mind, that's in the middle. You you really way above, but in her mind you're you're in the middle. So if you're not beneath, like like the thug, he don't really have his shit together. He in and out of jail. He dangerous, or you way up top. That's the, the two extremes. You'll get in, you'll get in there with her. But if you right in the middle, you got you got a good credit score, a good job. You don't really need her for shit, you know. But you know you want a woman, you know, and then you can delegate tasks to her. She don't really, she's not really trying to fuck with you. All right. And that's okay because the majority you're going to be destroyed anyway. All right. If you're not of the elect, all right. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her. All right. That's strike one. She would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. That's, that's strike two. So pretty much is, these are all, these are all the qualities that our women do not possess. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Another strike. These women are lazy as hell. They ain't trying to do shit, but go to work, all right? Or have kids and, and be a uh, be a, a ward of the state. She is like the merchant ship. She bringing through food from afar. All right, shopping, making the garments like they're supposed to. She riseth also while it is yet night. I did a, a video a while back about this Moabite. Well, I think while he was asleep. He, she was working her ass off cleaning and blending shit you know blending stuff uh, the, the, woman, the woman ain't doing this 
she, she's not given diligence. All right. Because she doesn't have to. She has a safety behind the computer. She has say her safety is in that uh, she has a foot in the door, but she ain't walk through it. All right. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her handmaid. She considers the field and buyeth it. I mean, she's intelligent. She, she can actually get shit done, make wise f financial decisions. And you actually trust that she can do that. You think women ain't, you don't, I don't trust no, the shit no damn woman can do. I barely trust women that can drive. With, uh, with the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She should, she should be wise enough that you can be able, to, be able to trust her to pick a restaurant and not fuck it up. All right. She can't really, you can't do that. She, so, so, so the point is that the women, our women are not righteous. All right. And they prove that by inaction. All right. And you can fill in the blanks everywhere else. Uh, let me see. Um, she openeth her mouth with wisdom and her tongue is the law of kindness. Deuteronomy 28, 15 on them. It's, no, it's not happening. She looketh well to her ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. And I'll end that right there. And our women are idle as hell. We got Aitazalawath. Slug sluggishness, laziness. All right. So this is the guideline to see whether your woman is, is decent. You know? She do these things or she doesn't uh, 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 possess the negative attributes. All right. You got a decent woman. All right. Now, when the time of Jacob's trouble come, Isaiah 4 women are going to instantly turn into this to, to Proverbs 31. They may not have the wisdom, but they sure are going to try. All right. Cause it's going to be either they conform or they're going to get put to death. All right. Because that's what the, the government, that's, that's going to be the option. It's going to be the government going to put you to death or you're going to fall in line. All right. And, and be genuine and just submit mentally and, and physically, meaning your body. All right, work with your hands. All right, so this is going to happen on this side. Isaiah four and one, seven women. They'll be what sister wives, I think they call it. If that's the right terminology. All right, and they're going to share you. All right, where we at? Because here's the contrast. Isaiah fourteen two. These strangers right here are referring to the Israelites, foreigner. All right. And the strangers in the second verse is referring to the actual heathen. All right. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of of the Lord for servants and handmaids and they shall take them captives who captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors so this is in the kingdom because right now we're not going to rule over our oppressors all right and servants so the, the Israelite woman is not going to be working she's not going to be knitting and making food she's she's going to have servants and handmaids the heathen all right the first verse up here is referring to Israelites that are scattered throughout the world that are have the uh, the names of the other nations on them all right i mean the second verse is referring to the actual heathen all right we got another one ezekiel 39 14 and they shall sever out men of continual employment men and women of continual employment passing through the land to bury the passengers uh those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it all right so Continual employment is slavery. Thamayad. 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 Stretch, sound like hand almost. Um, continual per perpetuity. To stretch continually. Yeah, Employ slavery. Perpetual. I Man, they're going to be slaves. So we're going to have slaves to do all the work. 
All right. And this is Revelation 2 and 26. I get to the point. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. Point here is rule. Because we're going to be kings and our women are going to be princesses. They're not going to be queens. All right, because a queen has, you know, uh, equal authority, legal, regal rule. Uh, they're going to, our women are going to be under our authority. So they're going to be princesses. They're going to be royalty. All right. They're going to be the, the wives of the elect and so on down the line for the ones that's the, the, of the most high is elect, meaning the whole nation of Israel. Right? You have the elect and then you have uh, the whole nation. All right. Keep body. What was this word? Rule. Okay. To furnish. Uh, to to rule to govern. To furnish. To supply the requisites for the, that the soul needeth. All right. So. The nations are going to be working. And supplying us what we need, because we're going to rule them. So our women are not going to be working at whatsoever. And I will punish the world for the evil and the wicked, Esau, for the iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. That's Esau, Obadiah, one. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. The terrible is this man. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And Ophir is the Americas, the West. Let me look up the word precious. The word is Yaquar, Yaquar. To esteem, be prized, be prized. Like you got uh, Jake that's, that plays for the NBA, that plays for the M NFL, that are boxing champs you know women look to get with them you know you know whatever if you're the boxing champ if you're the ufc champ women want to get with you because you're famous and you're rich and uh so th that means you're going to be a prize so all israelite men that know that the israelites that are the of the elect because they're going when all hell breaks loose we're going to we're going to be cool as a cucumber you know, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. Uh, what does this say? I hadn't gone, gone through it. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of sal salvation. Wisdom and knowledge shall be, am I open point quoting it right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy town, town, of thy time and strength of the salvation. So when all hell breaks, breaks loose around about you, you're going to be stable because you, you are you don't know it's coming because it's here because we've been reading about it. So here it is. So all we're doing is we're looking at the prophecies and we're saying, okay, that prophecy took the past. This prophecy took the took place. The main prophecy that's going to take place before the deliverance and the destruction is the Karagma. So that's going to, that's going to shake up those other camps. They're not going to be stable and their followers are not going to be stable. So they're going to have to admit that the great millstone was right. The great millstone. So it says, to esteem, be, I'm sorry, I said prize, be praised, be val valuable, be precious, be costly, be appraised, to be precious, be highly valued. Oh, that's what this Kevin Sam used to talk about, the, the high-value man. The only high-value man are the Israelite men, especially when all hell breaks loose. Be esteemed, be costly to, to be appraised, to make something precious.
That's the seven women shall take hold of one man. Well, let me let me go to this one here. Let me do. Sixteen. Let's try. To sixteen. And this, this is all this stuff is going to happen in Second Ezra fifteen and Second Ezra sixteen, because all these things, these train derailments and these fires and these food packing plants and processing plants, you know, and it's and it's all done by design. So it says in the thirty third and the thirty fourth verse, the vir virgins. Young woman of a marable, mar maritable age shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Who are the helpers? The men. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. So who are you going to get with? Who are you going to get with? You're going to get, get the men that are stable within themselves, in, in themselves, which are the elect of Israel. Because when all hell break, completely breaks loose, and they set up the Karagma stations, a lot of people are not going to know what to do. We're going to rejoice on that day. And we're going to trust in the Most High, Isaiah chapter 60, uh, 65. You start from the ninth verse on down, I believe it's around about the 12th verse. It says, my servants shall eat. So, you know, our stability is in the, in the, is in the knowledge of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. 